Hey guys, I hope that you made $500,000 from the GameStop stock and that you don't even have to look at this video or any video for a long time. But just in case you didn't, I do have some good news for you. Always money in the banana stand. The Forex markets have been easy work this year and I've been picking up tons of pips. Today, I'm going to show you my live $10,000 trading account, show you exactly what I did with it, and exactly why you should be using a robot as part of your trading routine. Roll the intro. Okay, so here we are in my virtual private server. This is where I host a bunch of my live trading accounts and the live trading account that I'm going to be showing you today. Make a lot of money. Yeah, I do all right for myself. For the purpose of this video, this account is using my Forex robot, Forex Fury. Uh, I could take a look and show you the settings that I'm currently using. This is obviously with the upgrade to version four, which was a free upgrade for all members. Now, you can see here that I'm using a fixed lot size, so I've turned money management off, and that I'm basically using a pretty risky profile here and monitoring the account myself closely. So I'm using a very high stop loss, so I'm basically not really using a stop loss. I'm just letting the trades work out as they may and then jump in if necessary but the entries have been so good that i really haven't been able to or had to touch it at all so you can see these are all the settings the only other setting i've really changed is the one set of trades per day that's an important setting i find that when the software opens up a second set of trades it frequently loses and so i just tend to avoid that and I let so let's just get into it. I'll show you some of the trades here and walk you through a, exactly what I'm looking for in a trade and what the entries are like from Forex Fury or really any other robot if this is the type of approach that you want to use. Okay, so let's jump right in and take a look at all of the trades I've placed in the last month, month and a couple of weeks. Okay, this is all on my live trading account. So first, let's take a look at the first trade I placed. This was on the 17th. This was a set of buy trades. We won all of these trades. The trades lasted uh, not very long at all, just under 40 minutes. You can see that the market went in a direction that we wanted it to. We picked up an easy win and then we were out of the market. That's what I love to do with all of my trades. I always trade this way. It's the way I prefer. Now let's drop on the next set of trades. You can see here that my next set of trades were sell trades and then the market immediately dove down and we picked up the wins and then we were out. Again, a nice win. Let's take a look at the next set of trades. This set of trades was a set, was a sell trade again on the Euro US dollar. It looks good. It didn't last very long, just 12 minutes and we were out. So another easy win. Then let's roll into the next day. We had some more trades and these trades were buy trades. You can see again, this is another nice entry. It went down a little bit, but then the market recovered and we won the trade simply. Let's move to the next set of trades. This is on the 23rd. On the 23rd, we made buy trades again and the market went up immediately. So we were able to exit these trades. Again, another solid entry and another set of trades won. Then we don't have a trade for about six days. You know, sometimes that happens if the market isn't, uh, isn't doing what we like it to, then the trades just don't come. Now we have a trade on the 29th. I'll pull this onto your chart here. On the 29th, we opened a sell trade. This is simple, it went down, we hit our profit target and we took off. If that trade went longer, hey, we could have struggled, but it didn't. We hit our take profit mark, we took our wins, and we move on to the next day. On the next day, we have just a couple of trades. These are, again, just a couple quick wins. 
This is uh, some a buy trade on the euro US dollar, one set of trades, only two at a time, which is rare. I'll have to take a look and see why we decided to do that. On the fourth, we had another set of trades. You can see that we, we chose to uh, place buys on this day again, ended up with a very short win. This was quick. It took about an hour and a half for that whole set to finish. Next, we have a couple of days later, we placed some trades on the 6th. These trades lasted a little bit longer than I would have liked them to, but we ended up winning the trades. They closed the next day, which again, isn't something that I like to see, but the market never really went up or down significantly. We are actually just kind of ranging there and ranging is what we want to see with this type of strategy. So now let's move to the eighth. This is the next set of trades we had. And for this set of trades, we opened um, we opened a sell trade, or this could have been two different segments. Yeah, this is, we opened some buys, we won the buys, then we opened some sells, and we won the sells. So we did it all in one day. I don't usually do this. I've actually changed one set of trades per day, a setting, because sometimes a second set just doesn't perform the way I like. Okay, let's move to the next day, which is the 11th. You can see here, we opened some buy trades. Again, these ones stayed open a little bit longer than I would have liked, but it was still ranging. The market never jumped up or down, so it was okay. It didn't trend it on us. And now let's take a look at the next set of trades. I'm trying to jump through this as fast as I can because I actually didn't realize there's this many trades. On this set of trades, you can see here, I opened up some sell trades. The market didn't go the way I wanted immediately, but did recover uh, the next day and you know closed them out. We had our wins. I would like to see sharper entries than this, I'm always trying to get the sharpest entries possible. Now, the next day, the 13th, these trades were much better. This is just a quick in and out. We got our trades, we placed them, and within a couple of hours, they were done. The market was completely ranging, and so it was really easy to pick up these wins. Then we traded again the next day. This was definitely a busy week. The next day we opened some trades, we opened some sell trades, you can see them here. This was an easy pickup. We were in, we were out. I'm, I don't need to focus on that trade. Really, I'm doing myself a disservice. I only focus on the bad trades or the trades that go too long, but that's just how this goes. You know, If you see a, an easy trade or a trade that wins, you, you don't really learn anything from it. So from this trade here, this was the 15th, it was another uh, set of buy trades. We hit all those, nice wins, easy wins. Let's move to uh, the 20th. On the 20th, we hit uh, some wins uh, on a buy trade again. Uh, there over here, this was, that was an easy win on those. Let's move to the 21st as we get to the end of this. The trades on the 21st were okay. I didn't love them. Eventually the market was always gonna come back and we were always gonna hit that profit mark, but I don't love those trades. And then we have trades uh, on the 26th, just a couple of days ago. This was another easy win. That's a great trade. And then we have trades on the 27th. So this is again, another really, really busy week. The 27th trades were really easy. We won, we were in and out of those trades as well, all within about an hour's time, which is great. And then yesterday, this was probably the worst trade I've actually taken on this account because right after I placed the trade, the market went uh, straight down. We ended up recovering and getting that win. So, you know, it, it turned out just fine in the end. And we ended up at a place where we really want to be, which is up $4,453.73 uh, 
as you can see in the bottom right hand corner you can go to the trade there's no open trades you can see the balance is over fourteen thousand dollars on this live account and this is with a deposit of ten thousand dollars so we in about a month we're getting to the point of a fifty percent gain this isn't something that you're always going to see with robots this isn't something that i always see but with version 4 of forex fury and with some high risk aggressive account types i'm doing very very well and you can do that well too depending on if you want to use the software or not i know a lot of people prefer manual trading a lot of people prefer signal trading and that's just fine too either way I'm happy that you decided to come and watch this video, take part of my journey, and learn a little bit more about my trade approach. So thank you for making your way through this. I, I, I need a lot of work, I understand, but please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. If you do any of those things, you're automatically entered in a raffle to win a Forex Fury copy. So thank you and take care.